All right, guys. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use copper um, fungicide and orchard spray. It could also be known as um, fruit tree spray. Pretty much all this is meant to kill um, insects, diseases and mites. And this will control plant diseases. But the reason I'm going to be using two of these pr um, products is this is a this is known. This is a bit stronger. It's not bad for the plant. Um, however, it works a lot better. This is more so for like the like the stem themselves, um, the trunk, the roots, and this is more so for like foliar spray. So more like uh, the leaves for fruits, that sort of thing. Both of these though will work together to give you the best results. So this will control uh, fungal diseases, um, insects, um, specifically the ones that affect um, fruits, nuts. Uh, citrus vegetables that sort of thing um, citrus right now I have an infection on my on my uh, citrus plants that that they seem to curl on I get these white marks so I'm gonna be using some of this we're gonna be using one pint and that makes up to uh, five gallons of it so that's fine with me um, you know we can get a good amount and this uh, and the copper fungicide um, that's pretty much it, it works a little bit more so if you got like powdery mildew uh, mil, um, downy mildew, black spots, rust, etc. This stuff is great for that. But what you want to do is use it on both. So this is known as a dormant spray. So typically you'd want to use this more so when the when it's like fall season and, and winter. But you could use both of these year round. Um, and if, since we're going to be using a pint, this is roughly um, in milligrams. I don't know if you can tell. It's going to be around 500 and a half milligrams, so 550 milligrams. Next, you're going to have, you're going to need a gallon. Well, I'm going to go by gallons, but pretty much I'm going to make it so that I get at least five ga uh, five gallons of this and a sprayer. You could use a, a spray machine. You can use a fogger, whatever you got. So I don't know if you guys can tell that's the damage that it's been doing. So I'm going to be trying to take care of that. Um, if you hear some chickens, you'll hear that. So if you look right here, I got some infection too. I'm going to be taking care of that with that spray. And it's these bugs. I don't know if, let me zoom, get closer. If you can tell right there. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be helping out. Obviously this isn't a one-time cure thing, so I'm going to have to probably spray it constantly to get that taken care of. And this right here is the same thing. If you, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about right there. You see those those fruits? They're having issues too. All right, guys. So the ratios are here. Um, so for the copper, it's uh, 0.5 to 2.0 uh, fluid ounces per gallon of water. And for the um, fruit spray, it is uh, well. It's five fluid ounces to give you a gallon of water of spray of spraying um, liquid. So, what I'm gonna do is measure this out using their little um, measuring cup they think it comes with. Um, so yeah, if you got your own big one like the one I got, you can use that. If not, this is fine. And like always, whenever you're gonna be dealing with the concentrate, make sure you go ahead and actually mix it really well. All right, so I'm gonna be using um, six fluid ounces. So two cups all the way up to the number three right there. Um, I don't, if technically for me to use a five, I should have used um, 10 ounces, but I wanna just try this first out, see what it does to my trees. And if I see a good result, I'm gonna keep going. Obviously it says right here that every seven to 10 days, you gotta spray it again to make sure that whatever's on the tree, it'll die. So that that'll that's my plan. All right, so let's go ahead and splash that in there. Okay. Go ahead and wash it out in here. You don't want to, you know, so you can get the most for your product, I guess. And obviously, if you want to use gloves, use gloves. If not, you know, wash your hands afterwards. It's not going to kill you. All right, that's the first one. And again, shake this well. Same thing with the product. All right, using the same container, if you want to use a different one, it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and put 15 ounces of this material into that. Okay. Now I'm using a, 
This one's a bit heavier. It's a little bit less damaging than the copper. But, you know. And again, you can wash this out right here. And I do this just so I can get most of the material out. Obviously, you know, that's not super expensive, but you don't want to be spending all this money over and over to do the same thing. So, yeah. All right, now grab yourself a mixing stick, or if you want to just go ahead and, you know, you could get two fives and just mix them both and get the same thing. After I'm done mixing this, I'm going to mix that in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the square. And, and um, another thing, if you have a spray machine, like a paint gun machine, you could use that too, and that actually works better. You'll probably be wasting more material since it's a lot uh, faster, but you do get more out of it, and it, automa it automizes your um, uh, your liquid so that it gets more coverage than a regular spray machine. Or, or should I say handheld uh, sprayer, garden sprayer. All right, so let's fill it up. And this is, this is roughly two gallons, so I'm using a smaller container to push uh, the material inside. So about two gallons of this is going to be enough to fill it. 